please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Jose Rocha. Um, I was on Cherry Point and on campus when I was on Cherry Point. I was with CLC 21. Uh, I was over at the APO, APOE, Aerial Port of Embarkation slash depart, Deparkation, Deparkation. Um, and then I went to Camp Lejeune and I was uh, with 2nd Supply Battalion uh, over in uh, MMDC Company, working at the distribution warehouse. Pretty much just like doing like UPS shit all day, like getting, um, getting orders fulfilled for like different units and getting in a like seven ton or a steak bed and delivering it to you. So that kind of stuff. So you were a supply guy? That was your MOS? No, I was at DMO 3112. Uh, I guess it's supply, but it's not supply. It's really weird. We also worked with like the red patchers and stuff like that. So that was kind of weird. Yeah, so DMO, it's like those people, or some people called it TMO back in the day, but it's like those people that um, you go to, um, like whenever you're getting out and you're trying to do like a travel claim or like a PCS or PCA, a Diddy move. That was like my, like literally what my job is, but I never did that side. I always did um, the air side or the ground side, never like the office side or whatever you call it. You said you had some, some good stories for me. What do you got? All right, I got a few. So I think the first one, which is like my funniest one, this was when I was a corporal. And like, I had like long hair. I was, it was on Camp Lejeune, I like super long hair. Kind of like this, but like with the low fade and not a mullet. And um, I, was, I was kind of a shit bag. I was a shit bag. Like I was good at my job. I just didn't care about anything else that had to do with, I don't know. I just didn't care. I was about to have like EAS. I didn't care. And it was like a change of command ceremony uh, for a new sergeant major. And this new sergeant major, she was straight off the drill field. And she was observing everything afterwards. And she was standing next to me. And like me knowing who she was, I was like, all right, I'm going to see what happens. So I started chewing gum. And like, keep in mind, prior to this, I always had um, this, uh, this note in my pocket. And I carried it around for a while. And whenever someone asked me, like, hey, Marine, what's the order on this? Or, hey, you got a shit for that? Like, whenever someone gave me shit, I'd be like, oh, yeah, it's right here in my pocket. You know how, like, Ron Swanson used to have, like, that paper? He had that paper that said, like, I do what I want or whatever. Yeah. I feel like, like, don't worry, got a permit. So that was me. And I never got in trouble for it. Everyone thought it was, like, funny, like, low key. Like, all, like, my gunnies and everything. Like, did they get mad at me? You're like, yeah, they got mad at me. But, like, I never got in trouble for it. Like, I, they just thought, like, oh, that's just Rocha being Rocha. Well, anyways, the sergeant major looks at me and there she's just like, hey, corporal, are you supposed to be chewing gum in uniform? And then I was just like kind of scared. I was like, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know, sergeant major. And then she was like, <laughs> and then she was like, maybe you should look up the order and come back and, and, and find out, or like come back and tell me or whatever. And so I like, I remember I had that piece of paper in my pocket. So I look at her and I was like, oh, Sergeant Major, I had the order right here in my pocket. If you promise not to get mad. She was like, what do you mean? Well, here you go. Here's the order. And I started like giggling and she looks at it and then she's like, oh, so you think you do what you want, Corporal Rocha, huh? Huh? Like, and, and I was like, uh, no, Sergeant Major. Well, apparently you do. And she starts poking me, like poking my chest, bro. And keep in mind, I said like, I was, yeah, I was back. It wasn't that kind of, it was a shit bag. I had like my name tapes, like, like instead of sewed on, I had them glued on. And so I. <laughs> it's the epitome of baggery right there. No, it was, but it was funny. I just did it for the lols, man. I don't know why. And like, as she was like poking me, dude, like my like name tape fell off, dude. And I was like, fuck. And she was like, oh, look at that. Don't even have them sewed on. And then she just like took my paper and left. And I was pissed. I was like, she took my paper so the next thing you know <laughs> like all the like everyone else like all the other like i, I put it back and i think put like some some more tape on it or whatever and like put my back on my, like my name tape back on and uh she was like uh not she was like but like all like the gunnies and all the staff sergeants like got me and like inside like my gunnies like office and they're like hey rocha and I'm saying, I'm talking in an accent because that's how most of them talk. They're like, hey, Rocha, what did, what did the Sergeant Major say to you? They were like all like borderline concerned. 
like, oh, like, was it good or bad? And I was like, oh, well, you know, I gave her the, the note. And they're like, what do you mean you gave her the note? And I'm like, I gave her the note. Shit. She asked me if I need the order on chewing gum, what chewing gum was. So I gave her the note. But she wasn't mad. She said, I told her to promise you not to be getting mad at me. And then my gunny was like, the road chat. I know you don't give a fuck, but for me, give a fuck. What the fuck is wrong with you? And like the rest of the fucking gunnies, like in the office, like from the different platoons are in there, just like you could tell they wanted to laugh, but my gunny was livid. He was, bro. And he was like, get the fuck out of my office. So I was like, whatever, got out of the office. And next thing you know, I'm like, dude, like now I'm going to get in trouble. This is how I get in trouble. Like, I'm finally going to get NJP'd, and this is stupid. This is a stupid reason to get NJP'd. What ended up happening? What ended up happening was <clears throat> literally nothing. I literally got away with it, and they were all just mad at me. And the rest of my time at MMDC Company, because this happened at MMDC Company on Camp Lejeune, was, um, it was just skate life, pretty much. So nothing happened. I just always think it's a funny story, because that's like a story like everyone uh like talks about like you can go into like a certain like facebook group and ask people that knew me in there and they'll tell you the story it's kind of funny so you didn't even get a page 11 or anything out of that <laughs> nothing i i got a page 11 i think i got like i know i got like more than one but like one page 11 i got that i do remember getting was for throwing pistachio seeds on the ground and refusing to pick them up because i said they were biodegradable <laughs> We got pulled over by Secret Service in D.C. on a 96. That was pretty fun. What happened? Uh, so, like, me and a bunch of buddies from Lejeune, like, well, they were all actually, like, my junior Marines. We all went to uh, to D.C. for the 4th of July, 96. And um, the dude driving the car, like, almost hit a Secret Service police officer, like, in a roundabout. Like, I think it was outside of, like, Arlington, like, outside of Arlington or whatever. And... Um, I didn't have my seatbelt on, so I instantly put my seatbelt on, or I tried to, and this guy comes over, this cop, and he, like, looks over at us, and he looks at me first, and then, I, like, I just wave, like, hi, and my seatbelt falls off, and I'm like, damn. All right. Then he goes over to uh, to the person driving the car, and he put, and, and, like, he looks, and he sees, like, the base sticker or whatever, the, the decal sticker or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not hard to tell we're a bunch of, like, military guys. But he sees it says, like, Camp Lejeune or whatever. He looks and sees the sticker, the base sticker. And he puts his, like, arm out. And it's this big, like, EGA on his arm and puts it inside the window. And he's like, all right, now I'm going to give you one option, one option only. You guys get on out of here. And I don't want to see you ever again because the next time I see you, I'm going to arrest you. And we were like, okay, yes, sir. And that was it, dude. (laughs) Like, that could have been bad, but he just happened to still be a Marine. He said his, like, huge EGA on his arm. Like, he knew it was up, you know? Please like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more stories.